What's going on guys, today we're going to be showing you how to optimize your Nvidia control panel settings for a better gaming performance. This will work for both your high-end or low-end Nvidia GPUs, so let's begin. First of all, make sure your Nvidia graphics drivers are always updated. If it's not, go to your GeForce Experience Utility and get it updated. Latest drivers are always the key to better performance. So let's go to NVIDIA Control Panel by right clicking on your desktop and choose NVIDIA Control Panel or you can search it on the start menu as well. If you didn't find it anywhere, you can install the GeForce Experience software and it will bring the control panel with it. Anyway, once you're here, navigate to Adjust Image Settings with Preview under the 3D Settings and choose Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings. Now click on Apply and it will save the settings. Now let's navigate to manage 3D settings that is a place where we can optimize a lot of things. So get ready. The first thing we have to do here is to click on the restore button which will restore the 3D settings back to default. So if you have previously messed up any settings here, it will reset back to normal. So that you can follow me and do the optimization more easily. The first feature you have to change here is the anti-aliasing mode. It's set to override any application settings so I recommend you to turn that off. Now we have to tweak the CUDA GPU's feature, so select your NVIDIA GPU from here as well as make sure you have selected all your available GPUs, especially in case you are running multiple GPUs in SLI. Now go to OpenGL Rendering GPU and you can see it is set as Auto Select, so I recommend you to choose your NVIDIA graphics card from here as well, in my case it's a GeForce GTX 1060. Now you have to go to the Power Management mode. Now change the optimal power option to prefer maximum performance. But don't worry, it will not run your card always at its full power. But whenever your GPU needs to push that extra FPS on your display, this option will definitely help the software to do that. This setting will maximize the performance without compromising for energy usage. I am extremely recommending these if you are running an overclocked GPU. Now go to Texture Filtering Quality and change the option to Performance. Then go to Texture Filter Trilinear Optimization. By default it is on but you have to turn that off as well. Now let's go to the Threaded Optimization. You can either leave it as Auto or just turn it off. And it's pretty much look like we are done everything we can do with the Manage 3D settings. So click on Apply and save the changes. Now let's move on to the Configure Surround and Physx tab and from here you are gonna need to go to the Physx settings and choose your Physx processor as your Nvidia GPU and apply the changes. So it seems we are completed the 3D settings optimization. So let's move on to the display category and let me warn you it's a bonus you have done everything you can do for the gaming performance optimization but I think I had to show you one more thing I will change your entire viewing experience both in game and your windows UI. So let's do it. Navigate to change resolution and once you are here always make sure you have selected the best resolution available on your display. Choose the maximum refresh rate of your monitor as well. Now we are moving to the interesting part on change resolution tab. So scroll down and navigate to the apply the following settings and from here select use Nvidia color settings and then this option will reveal to you. First you have to go to the desktop color tab and choose your maximum available color tab. For me it's 32 bit but I'm assuming there is a higher number of monitor which are still only support 24 bit and I doesn't seen any 64 bit color depth monitors so far. If that's the case, go for the highest color depth option available for you. Now go to the other option which is output color depth. And as same as the desktop color depth option, I recommend you to go for the highest number. Now go to output color format and make sure you are selected RGB option. Then last but my favorite option, output dynamic range and change it from limited to full. Now before we clicking apply, let me tell you, 80% of you will thank me right after you clicked on that apply button. Because of the changes that just happened to your monitor, I mean in a good way. Please comment your experience particularly on this because I know how much you're gonna love it. But I'm sure my video capture software can't pick up these changes which I'm viewing right now. So I'm gonna leave that one for you. So hope you all achieved a better gaming performance by watching and following this video. If you like what you just saw leave a thumbs up and subscribe to watch more. 